Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Michael the York, and this is a new series in which I will be showing you my Borderlands 3 builds, show and tell style, a slight build guide, and then show what they can do slightly. I'm going to try to do these as quick as possible. So let me go ahead and jump right into it. So, the first thing I want to show is the skill tree. Uh, just going across, I have five, 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 one, 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 one. This is three, one. This one is three, and then it is capstone with one. Uh, I use this in action skill two, and it is using bad dose and boomsday. You can switch out Boomsday with uh, Winter's Drone now if you want. It does work again. You can also switch it to Static Field if you want, but I feel that Static Field doesn't do very good. Uh, the Almighty Ordinance, I don't really like at all. I haven't been able to get it to really to work well for me. In the red tree, or the now this is the Sentinel Blue Tree or Hitman. In the Double Agent Red Tree, which is the Digiclone. Uh, we have five, one, five, five, one, two, one, 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 and capstone as well uh, with one. And uh, this is my action skill one. We have it set for binary system and uh, shogun food. I'm not exactly sure if I said that right, so please forgive me. Uh, this one, as my clone takes damage, uh, my shields are restored. It's excellent. It, it's really good. I like it a lot. Uh, I, this, when you swap, you get a Cryo Nova. You could swap that out for Doppelganger. It's okay. Um, which one is real, I don't think would... It would work, but your clone is probably going to die more, and I don't like that. I want my clone out as much as possible. and then. This one here, uh, if if I take damage, then my clone takes damage instead, uh, a portion of it. I don't like this as well because it, when I have tried it, it just doesn't seem that my clone stays out nearly as long. And I don't feel that I need that extra survivability with it. So I prefer these two. Uh, this gives you a cryo nova when you switch. Um, you want to have duct tape mod at least one point into that. You want to have fractal frags, and you want to definitely have drone delivery. Uh, let me explain these right quick. Um, drone delivery, your uh, drone is going to drop grenades roughly every 15 to like 25 seconds, it seems. Uh, the fractal frags, when you're clone is put out he throws a grenade uh, after killing an enemy then he has a chance to throw a grenade a 42 percent chance to throw a grenade uh, as long as that kill skill is active he can just randomly throw that uh, when he dies or if he just disappears like he runs out he throws a grenade uh, it really helps a lot duct tape mod every now and then just like you have an 8% chance, uh, or I think it's a 4% chance if you just put one point in there. But the very first shot that you fire from a new uh, magazine, you're going to get that chance to fire a grenade. It, it's really cool. So grenades are a big part of this build, so you do want those. In this tree, we have just in Adrenaline 5. And down on the next one, uh, Stiff Rubber Whip is maxed out with three, and then Rise to the Occasion also with one in it. Um, this doesn't have to be exactly this way. Violent Momentum and Violent Speed. Uh, I think that Violent Momentum is probably a good one to have, but Violent Speed, you don't have to have that in there at all. You can actually put some of those points into other places if you want to. Uh, my class mod gives me points in Violent Violence, Playing Dirty, and Good Misfortune, and it, it helps out a lot. So 
that is the skill tree. There is nothing in the purple tree. Uh, just to show you what I have over here, I do have almost all of the things unlocked. I will have this and this unlocked soon. Uh, these play a big role into how well this works. As you can see, my bonus stats over here on the left as well. And you want to go for critical damage, gun damage, grenade damage, gun fire rate, uh, max health, shield capacity, action skill cooldown, luck, reload speed, and elemental damage. Uh, those are the, the ones that you really want to, to grab when you can. Uh, I'm having to put stuff into shield recharge and stuff like that because none of the other things are coming up. But those are the skills that you want to go for if you want to use Guardian Ranks. If not, the build will work without them. It just it makes it much easier. So, over here to weapons, just to show you what I have and explain what to do. The loadout. I have a Revolter. Uh, it has a uh, amp damage on shield break, and it's it's excellent. Um, the shock and rage for 15 seconds is excellent. It gives you extra damage. It's cool. It just does a lot. Uh, if you can find one that has some sort of ammo absorb, that would be even better. Uh, the other option I use is my transformer with a sentinel active movement speed plus 15%. Uh, grenades, I use... Hexes, Merv, or Mervtacular, or Recurring Hexes, and I have them in uh, Radiation. The order I would use them in is Radiation, Cryo, and uh, Shock. They do better in those elements than the others. Uh, well, they do better in... Let me see what I'm trying to say. Uh, radiation is the best for most of what you're doing. It seems to kill a lot quicker. After that, if radiation doesn't work right for you, then the cryo is probably going to do the, the next best job. And then the Mervtacular or the the uh, shock hex does seems not to do quite as good of a job as those two. I don't think that they come in any other elements at all. Period. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm sure that they don't, or I would have them. Um, so that's the order I would try them in. But the anoints, really, if you you want to have uh, action skill active grenade damage increased by 150%, that's going to do your best for you. Uh, for a caustic grenade, I have a Vindicator Gast Call. Uh, I really, really, really love this grenade it is really good if you can't get a gas call or you don't have a gas call and nobody you know has one then use either a hunter seeker a cloning or cloning hunter seeker or a uh i cannot think of the name it starts with an m uh, maybe a miasmic or something like that hunter seeker uh it's a three it it does three grenades instead uh they're the rarest but try to get caustic in that. It will help out. Uh, or the, I can't think of what it's called, the generator fusion, whatever. It's the one that gives you um, transfusion, and you can get those in these as well, in um, caustic as well. I would also, if you want a fire grenade, go for one of those two that I mentioned. So as far as class mods, the executor is the only class mod that you want for this build in my opinion seeing dead does not work with this because you've already got those skills um this one is in my opinion it's a god roll it's got weapon damage and pistol damage and that's where you're gonna kind of go with this whole thing so um uh, the pearl of ineffable knowledge works amazing with this it's the best one i have found yet it just does more damage than any other uh, none of the company men from the new raid boss do anything like this does, in my opinion. Uh, I do have a, a new one of Ladoff with 50% damage and 50% crit damage. I'm going to try it, but in my opinion, I don't think it's going to quite work as well. 
because this one has the magazine and the health on it. And this just seems, even without the health, it would, as long as you got that magazine size, I think it would help out a lot uh, and do a lot better. For alternates and other things, if you want to get around, I have a Snowdrift Rocket Boot, or Rocket Boots, and then I also have a Cut First Safeguard. I've been looking for a Cut First Launch Pad. It would be the best one to have. But uh, if you need ammo, you throw this on and you melee stuff or you do the jump and slam and get the, um, your ammo for whatever you're holding in your hand. As far as weapons go, you I've got light shows in both of these. This one regenerates ammo, so I run with this one more than anything else. Uh, this one has ASA 200% damage. And it is absolutely amazing. It is so cool. It melts everything just about. Uh, this one, you just hold down the trigger and then you let up and you it refills really quick. So it's like an infinity. Uh, it's like an infinity on steroids. Uh, I do have the nuclear and the shock one as well. And some other alternatives that you could go with for handguns are the Royzen Storm, the Hornet. I still have my Molten Infinity. It works okay for certain things still. Uh, the Free Radical is really good as well. And then I have a Thunderball Fist with ASA 200. I need to reroll a lot of the action skills, uh, but these are the weapons that I would use anyway. So the next slot down here, usually I would keep either a sniper rifle or a uh, a shotgun in this slot, but I've just got my two pistols because I have ammo regen on this one, and this one is for the damage. Uh, if you just get a, a molten light show with ammo regen, it would be just fine. You wouldn't even have to have this. I will tell you something about light shows, though. Uh, if you can get a light show that does not have a, a sight on it, like that's got a four times weapon zoom, they suck. They really uh, make it much harder to use. You want a light show that does not have a sight on it at all. Uh, so I have a decaying star helix here in this one, and this is for radiation. Now in this slot, you're going to go through several other things you can put in. Anything that is not starred over here, by the way, it's just stuff that I. It's not in my build. It's just things I need to put in my bank. Uh, I have a Chaos and a Fire one. It's um, okay. It's not really something I'm going to keep. I'm going to actually give that to my next main build. Um, but it will do the job if you don't have a another one. The Crater's EMP5 is actually really good just to throw on so you can run faster. That is its special ability. And you get extra run speed. So if you need to make it across the map quicker, or this in a snowdrift on, and you're good. Uh, I have a cloud kill. <clears throat> now, this goes for both of these slots, what I'm going through. Just let me tell you about this right quick. Um, the cloud kill is for doing uh, max a trillion, farming him if I need to, and for anything that's got a shield, uh, like the big brutes with shields, the cloud kill will absolutely uh, take them out pretty quickly and I'm going to go back over here and explain these the star helix this particular one is absolutely the best radiation uh, assault rifle that I have if I give it to the clone these slots are basically for my clone um, and this one as well was for my clone so this slot is me possibly clone and then these I used for my clones gear and he does massive damage. So this is for a Ratch and anything that's weak to radiation. If you're fighting Ratch, you want to really use radiation because it will blow one up and it takes the rest out. Otherwise, you're going to have to shoot each one individually, and it just does not work all that well. Even with the Brainstormer and uh, the Reflux, it doesn't work all that well for them. Uh, the Ember's Purge is, if anything is on the ground and it is a weak to fire, 
uh, this thing, besides the Psycho Reaper, this thing will melt it. Uh, it melts the Raid Boss in the Clone's Hand, in Hemovorce, and Brumovorce. This will melt them. Uh, in this build, you're not going to really need the ASE 200 Splash because you want to have your clone and drone up as much as possible while in battle, so it'll never proc. You need something different. I have the one with the elemental critical hits. Uh, I don't know if the, the clone gets those elemental critical hits, but um, I do, and I think he does as well. I have seen it popping off, uh, like the boom, boom, boom and stuff, so... I think he does get them, and he gets mainly crits anyway. So uh, I do have a, I've got a few flippers. I don't like this one. I need to re-roll it. Uh, but for the flipper on this build, you have to have an ASE or ASA 200%, or it just does not do the damage. I, I don't know why. It just doesn't really seem to do much damage that way. Um, a really good thing to keep on you at all times is the binary mocking cutsman, the electric one. Um, it it does work. It takes out all kinds of stuff. Anything with shield, uh, anything that's got a an armor bar, this thing will melt it. Uh, it works better than the fire one. It works better than the caustic one as well, in my opinion. If you need one and you just have room for one of these things, just go with the electric. I have a Dark Army Plus here. Uh, it is a caustic one, and I will throw this on my clone, and I will use it at the same time. And basically, just I'll shoot and reload, and then I'll let the drones from the gun run around and kill stuff. It's really cool. One of the absolute best guns for this build is the binary DNA. Uh, you give this to your clone, it doesn't matter what the enemy is weak to or immune to, it's got everything built in there. This thing on your clone will kill. Uh, it's really good. So again, I have a, a flipper here with ASA 200. I need to re-roll this one to that. I would like to have a flipper that is fire and caustic instead, but it's fine to have this, I guess. Um, I do have a Breath of the Dying. It is one of the main guns for this build, and I'll usually have it here. Uh, you throw this on, give it to your clone, and stand back. He will kill himself pretty quick with this, but just pop him right back out with it. If you're taking on a bunch of loaders and stuff, there's no going wrong with this, really. Uh, I have a Pestilent Monarch to test it. It's okay. It, it works pretty good. Um, also, I do have the, the Molten Monarch. It works fairly well with this. You really want, on all of these, you want ASA 200% damage or uh, Sentinel, uh, Sentinel Cryo. Um, I have also the Nuclear Monarch, but the Kane Star Helix is much, much better than the Nuclear Monarch, in my opinion. Uh, I have a Shocking Trained Chaos because I wanted something that I could use if I really wanted to have a, an assault rifle with shock, and I was trying these out. I like this one. This one's okay. They're about the same. Uh, it, the Star Helix and shock damage, I think, may actually be even better in the clone's hands if you really want it to go that route. Uh, also, I have a double penetrating uh, bear cat, so a, a consume two ammo bear cat that is shock, and I love these things. They just do damage. They, they do work, and if you want splash damage, boom, here you go. Uh, this thing against scrap traps, they're gone. Uh, same with these two. You've got your Brainstormer or your Reflux. It just arcs out to everything and it destroys. I do have a Trevenator in uh, Fire and Acid, and it works wonderful if I want to go that route. Uh, the Hellwalker is another thing that I absolutely love, and it is essential to this build for some of the bosses and stuff. It really helps out. You can give it to your... I, I What I usually do is I take the Hellwalker now, and I give the clone... 
the embers purge if it will pur or proc on whatever the enemy is, and we go to town. Uh, the lob I'm just testing, and I, I actually, it works, but it's not for this build really. And the same thing with the back burner. I don't. Neither one of these I like with this build that much. Uh, if I want to use just a rocket launcher, the potent satisfaction uh, with action skill active, 200% is what I'm using. It works pretty good. It's nothing great, but it works pretty good. I have an ASA 200 Plague Bearer, and this is my rocket launcher that I suggest uh, taking with you everywhere. It's really, really good. Uh, for my clone, I do have two Sandhawks, a Fire and a uh, Fire and Caustic, and I just give them to him when I really need them to do some sort of damage, uh, a little bit different damage than, say, the, the Purge or something. Uh, these things melt, like Wotan and all the, the big bosses and everything. So, also, he's really good with the uh, Compressing Storm. I use the Compressing Storm as well uh, sometimes, and it's it's just absolutely amazing. If you're going to use the Storm or the Brainstormer, you might want to put on the Transformer. Um, and for me, not the clone, I use the Stark Krakatoa as well sometimes. Uh, and that is pretty much that. Now, I'm going to switch over, and I'm going to give a run-through of Athena's really quick, just the first part to show y'all how it works, and let's get over there. All right, we're out here on Athena's. I am going to drop my clone with the Purge. I'm going to take this, let off, and you can see my ammo is regenerating. You can see how quick... It takes care of them as well. Now, if I was to switch over, you can see. <laughs> With the ASA 200, you really have no nothing that can stand in your way with this. You got any more for your meat grinder? If you happen to get stuck, uh, you can also switch to this if you need to. If you happen to get stuck in the ground when you when you do so, then you will actually uh, have to crouch to get out of that. So we're just going to run up here. He should be back in time if you. If you accidentally reload this gun instead of letting it uh, regenerate, just switch to another weapon pretty quickly. Now. All right. So this gun, we're going to switch out right quick for another gun uh, just to show you what it can do, and then we'll switch back to that. Um, we're going to go for the DNA, if I can find it here. And now we're just going to drop the clone with that right here. I'm just going to switch to this. You can point with your uh, your drone there. I don't care if I have to uh, take a little bit longer to kill some of these. It just, it works. It might take just a tad bit longer to use the caustic one, but that's where I'm getting my ammo from, so it's fine. Now this guy, a flamethrower, boom, he's gone. <laughs> Uh, 
he's already dead. All right. So let's get to the next area. Uh, honestly, right here, what I'm going to do, just jump across, get right here, drop him. And now, when I get over here, he'll probably have already killed this guy. He has. So that's with the DNA. Uh, just so you can see, that's with the DNA. All right, this time I'm going to show you dropping with the Brainstormer and then me using the ASA 200 Flipper just to show you how that works. So I'm going to drop him here because he's at the water. ASA 200 one is pretty good. It doesn't seem to do damage as quick as the light show, though. And this is at radiation, if I switch it. Yep. But as you see, uh, yeah, everything's already dead. So the next one we're going to go to, uh, we're going to show a different thing. All right, against Ratch, I'm going to show you how the Radiation Star Helix does, and then I'm going to just switch to a light show, and we're going to go through this area right here really quick. So we've got this. Drop him. Pop him. With the grenades, these things stand no chance at all. Pop him here. Just that quick. What did we get? Oh, nothing good. Nothing good. Okay. So over here. Just that quick. <laughs> now I can run back over here. ready already without the without the drone I'm just going to drop him here okay you've seen how fast he took him out with the, him in anything that does have a uh, an armor bar absolutely go for the caustic light show it's just going to be a lot better and you've got this over here now this is mayhem 11 if you're wondering and i will put my stuff in there and show you how easy tromp is with this and for the finale here uh we're going to just jump down in here and yeah you'll see all right drop him with the purge you want to get behind him And this gun against uh, General Tront is absolutely the best way to kill him with this build. Uh, if you want to go for 
Grave Ward, I would use so Grave Ward, the Light Show, the Hellwalker. Uh, the Ember's Purge is not going to do anything against him, so I would go with either the, the ASA Flipper or the DNA, and then the Molten Monarch. And that loadout pretty much, that same loadout, will pretty much uh, do any of the others of uh, the other bosses as well. The uh, the Psycho Reaver, I would use this on the clone, uh, and then that for myself. You actually you don't really you can't use that on the clone because he won't target him. So. Um, it's not going to matter if you do or not. But um, I would use one of these two for that fight myself. Uh, the That uh, Hellwalker and then probably the Monarch and White Show. Uh, there is, as far as an SMG for that, I would say the double or the ASA 200 flipper would be the best probably. Um, and yeah, pretty much those will do everything you need. If you want to on Tyrene, you throw on the Star Helix, and when she goes down on her knees, you just jump to her her right shoulder, so you're going to be on her left side, or I guess her right side. Uh, it'll look like you're on the left of her, and you shoot up over her shoulder, shoot the spot up there with the star helix or a gun that shoots in a pattern a, a straight pattern or that pattern that's horizontal you can uh, skip the climbing step easily that way so that is this build and how it works and i will sh be back with some of my other builds and show y'all how i do those now i am going to say right now all of my builds don't work this well none of my others work this well at all really but that's they're just builds that i have fun with and i've been asked to show them so i will see y'all in the next one